Coming up next, everybody go crazy, it's Mikey Swenson. Come on. Hi, everyone. How are you feeling still? Yeah. Good. So, uh, people tell me I kind of look like a celebrity, uh, but I'm chubby, and that's very difficult because then you just become fat that celebrity, no matter what you do. So I'm walking around, and everybody's like, hey, Fat Damon. You're in that movie, Rounders. The talented and unmotivated Mr. Ripley. Good job, fat boy. <laughs> I mean, I, I, like, I can't stand up here and be like, ooh, I'm fat, you should feel bad for me. It was my fault. <laughs> this one thing is completely my fault. I could blame weed, but that's also my fucking fault. <laughs> I did, I uh, recently actually I stopped smoking weed, if you can believe that. Who said all? <laughs> oh, I like him chubby and hard, having a hard time finding his next words. That's what I like. I, uh, I did have to stop smoking weed because the other day I found weed in my belly button. <laughs> yeah, that's no joke. I was like, good God, I've got to stop smoking weed right after I smoked this weed I found in my belly button. Last time, I swear, it's got my juices on it. Get high, you wanna get, you wanna get good weed? Get bad weed, put in your belly button and sweat. All the old THC from the good weed gets in the new weed. Yeah, put that shit on Pinterest. That's right. Remember, I mean, I'm pro-weed. I'm pro all of the weed, you know, whatever the... There's some very unorganized protests to get <laughs> weed legalized. I'm, I support that shit. I just... Because I remember when I was a kid, they used to have those, uh, those anti-weed commercials. You remember those? They were grasping at straws there, weren't they? Jesus. They were, my favorite one was there's this older dude, and then it, was, it showed him in black and white, and he was all sad, and he was like... I forgot to pick up my little brother from baseball practice. So I was getting high with my friends. All you gotta do to turn that into a pro week commercial is cut to the little brother like, I was not at baseball practice. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was getting high with my brother and then he all of a sudden he's like, oh shit, I gotta pick up my brother. Baseball practice. Oh God! I, he was going to be late. I was going to be late. I would have felt terrible. <laughs> I uh, I guess I've always been unmotivated. It wasn't the weed. The weed, It's just it was kind of a match made in heaven that I found weed. I'm like, oh, good, an excuse. <laughs> Sweet. I don't know, when I was growing up, uh, my parents always told me, like, you gotta read. You, you gotta read, that's the key. Read. Then I started smoking weed and I started reading all this conspiracy stuff on the internet. They're like, not that stuff. <laughs> we weren't talking about that. I'm gonna come out of the conspiracy closet here. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Does anybody have the balls to clap? Yeah. Never, all right, good, yeah, thank you. There's a lot of sh right? We can all be adults about this. There's conspiracies. I'm not going to bring them up here because I'm being judged and there's, I got five minutes. <laughs> you want to talk to me for 80 fucking... 80 minutes? I don't know why I said 80 minutes. Should have said an hour and 20. That weed I was talking about earlier, huh? <laughs> I, uh, I try to tell my, my family when I go home for uh, Thanksgiving and, and holidays and stuff about the conspiracies. And it, it's... It's rubbed off on one, uh, I don't want to, my dog. My dog is now a conspiracy theorist. We stand in the backyard and look at chemtrails all day. I swear to God, my dog barks at chemtrails. <laughs> and I'll tell you how it happened. One day I was doing mushrooms at my house and I did a little bit too much, so I threw up. Who likes to eat throw up? Apparently my badass dog does, because we tripped balls after that together. 
just looking at each other like, if we could talk to each other, we would be best friends. Yeah. Like, did you just blink one eye? Is that a thing you guys do? Or is, are you winking at me? My dog started freaking out, just barking, going crazy while we were in the, in the, at the peak of our trip. And I was like, calm down, man. You be okay. It's just, we're gonna get through this. Don't freak out, it's just a fence. And literally right then, a fucking deer jumped over the fence. I was like, oh! Oh my God! My dog's a prophet! How did you know? I can't smell that. I couldn't smell that. All right, you guys have been Mikey Swanson. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Mikey Swanson, everyone. Keep it going.